Welcome to this three minute video on sequence and series. In this question, we're going to find the sum of an arithmetic series. Example one, find the sum of the series four plus 11 plus 18. It is a series because it has plus signs between the terms. But how do we get from one term to the next? By observation, we see if we add seven, we get from term one to term two. So the common difference here is seven. Since it has a common difference, that tells us that this series is an arithmetic series because it has a common difference between each term. To find the sum of the arithmetic series, we look up the tables and we see the formula is Sn is equal to n over 2 times 2a plus n minus 1 times d. So this is the formula we're going to use. Now the first term a we see is 4, d we know is 7, we need to know what n is in this formula as well, but we don't know what n is. We do, however, know that term n, the last term here, is equal to 100, 144. So can we use this to discover what is the position of this term? So what is n stand for? Now, in an arithmetic series or sequence, term n is given by this formula, a plus n minus 1 times d. So let's use this formula. Our a is 4, uh, n minus 1 times d is 7. And we know that this term is equal to 144. Now simplifying this, we have 4 plus 7, n minus 7 is equal to 144. Just simplifying the left-hand side, we have 4 minus 7, which is minus 3. Now, if we add 3 to both sides, this gives us that 7n is equal to 147. Now, we, to find n, we divide both sides by 7, giving us n equals 21. So now we know that the 21st term is equal to 144. So when we're summing this series, we're summing 21 terms. So summing this into our sum formula, this gives us 21 over 2, 2 times a, which is 2 times 4, plus n minus 1, which is 21 minus 1, times d, which is 7. Now we could take out a calculator at this stage and work this out. I'm just speeding this up a little bit. And we see at the end of this calculation, our answer is 1,554. Thank you for watching this video.